Sometimes life can get the best of us, keeping us busy and more involved than we like. Before we know it, that 24-hour window has come and gone, and it's time to wake up and do it all again. When life really picks up the pace, it can be easy for our pets to take a back seat. Although not deliberate, sometimes time can slip away from us, and that precious time that we'd like to spend with our cats just isn't there, at least not in the way that it once was. When you are running the race of life, your cat can get quite lonely, almost becoming a fixture on the sidelines, at least for a time. If you are concerned that your cat, although curious and independent, is now dealing with a bout of loneliness, there are a few red flags that can serve as critical indicators that your pet is, in fact, lonely. In today's material, I'll showcase a few of those red flags, let them serve as a friendly notice to you that your cat needs your involvement, even when life could be getting the very best of you. Interesting topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Before I speak about the signs that your cat could be lonely, it's important to take in the whole picture. This is because several of the outward symptoms could be indicators of other things. And standing alone, your cat's actions could fit into other categories that have nothing to do with loneliness. Now, while I do realize that that aspect alone can be a bit confusing and stressful, it's just the way that it is at times. Just like your own behavior. Just because you're acting one way, a certain way, doesn't always mean that it's due to a grounded reason. Just one reason. So please keep that in mind as we move forward. Take in the big picture and also take stock of the environment. You know if you're spending time with your pet or not, and you certainly know if you've been leading a hectic life of late. Once you connect all the dots, these signs, especially in clusters, will start to tell the whole story. I'll start things off with aggressive behavior. If a cat begins to act out, and it's something they've never really done before, it's important to investigate. Find that root cause, because your cat could be acting out in an effort to simply have something to do some form of entertainment, a way to have physical action even if it's something that you don't like. Cats, they won't stay silent for long, pent up with no outlet. If your pet is lonely, they'll likely start to do things in an effort to fulfill those instincts while also attempting to get your attention. Aggressive behaviors, that can be a sign that your cat just isn't receiving positive attention. Another sign of loneliness, and speaking of efforts to get your attention, your cat seems to be in a perpetual state of meowing, your cat could be lonely. If everything else seems fine, eating, drinking, no signs of lethargy, these outward cries could be for attention with the hopes of some degree of positive engagement. Your cat could be feeling a bit invisible while watching you carry on in the world without them. On the flip side, compared to that of aggressive behaviors and meowing, sometimes cats will almost surrender to the situation making no attempt to garner attention and just resign themselves to the situation. If your cat seemingly otherwise healthy takes no interest in moving about your home and enjoying other pleasures, they could be expressing their displeasure. Sometimes cats will resort to very little activity if they're feeling lonely and isolated. Here on the channel I've talked quite a bit about change, how felines are creatures of habit and routine. When it comes to loneliness, cats often exhibit many of the same outward signs that often accompany any level of upset in the routine. Over-grooming or aggressive grooming is one. When a cat is frustrated and angry, they can take their feelings out on their own body, pulling out large chunks of fur, even harming the skin in the process. If you've noticed that your cat no longer casually grooms, but instead treats grooming like an undesirable task, then your pet could be acting out and acting up in response to the lack of positive enrichment. Lack of eating, it can many times be associated with illness or injury, but similar to lethargy, if your cat feels like they're just on the outside looking in, they'll potentially begin to decline even the most basic of essentials, things they used to enjoy. If your cat seems otherwise healthy yet wants nothing to do with mealtime, take notice. On the flip side, in the face of isolation, some cats will turn to food to bridge the gap, treating mealtime almost like playtime eating more simply because, after all, it's something to do. As I mentioned a bit earlier, the cluster of signs and symptoms, that's really what you're looking for. Other concerns can include acting distant, simply staying away from the action, staying away from you, resting and napping in strange locations in your home, 
areas your cat would normally entertain. And another possible sign that your cat is lonely is poor litter box usage, or simply not using the litter box at all. In many ways, this is similar to aggressive grooming, another action done out of frustration and possibly done to get your attention. Sometimes cats realize, hey, if you're not going to notice me at face value, then I'll give you something to notice. And that could involve using the restroom in unfavorable locations. And finally, some felines will attempt to sort of turn things around. They'll give you attention, possibly even more attention than normal, with the hopes that you'll respond with affection. Instead of being distant or acting out, they'll lean into you. If they can't get attention, they'll give it and just see what happens. If you've had a long and loving bond with your cat, many years of trust, your pet could take this position. They'll think the best of the situation, and instead of running away and isolating, they'll approach you with warmth and affection, understanding that you would never deliberately create a sense of isolation. In a nutshell, you will get the benefit of the doubt until proven otherwise. And on that note, I'll now turn things over to the wonderful audience of Senior Cat Wellness. What are your thoughts and general opinions on this topic? Have you ever had a situation where life just got in the way, at least for a time, and you weren't able to make that quality time for your pet, at least the way that you'd always done in the past? If you have a personal story to share, that comment section, as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And before I close things out today, I just want to take a moment to share a special thank you to everyone who took the time to comment on my recent video regarding fur balls and the story of Frosty, to those who expressed kind words, more than kind words, and those who commented on the picture of Frosty that I posted under the community tab, the community section, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. I read every comment and responded to most, at least within that first 36 to 48 hour window after posting both the video and the picture under the community tab. So thank you so much to everyone, and thanks, as always, for your continued support of all things feline here at Senior Cat Wellness. And until next time, thanks so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you later.